So as you can see, by taking something that was manual, that was sort of exception work that had to be done manually, to the digital world and actually automating that with these new technologies, we've not only condensed the amount of work and the time it takes, we've made it much more flexible, much more risk resilient, much more dynamic, and much more applicable to a broader set of um, markets. Machine intelligence is for us the ability to automate the last mile of the work that we do manually by using new technologies, things like machine learning, cognitive computing, deep reasoning, natural language processing, computer vision. These are new technologies that are coming through that can actually allow us to automate well beyond the outer envelope of where we're at today. We used to think that one of the ways to approach this was to think about best in class. The reality is now we know that's wrong. Actually, that's the wrong way to approach it because best in class misses the opportunity for best possible outcome. I'll tell you one thing, technology is actually not the barrier. I think much of the technologies that's required to make this happen are starting to come together today already, right? So this is not a big tech leap. I think the leap here is around change management, around vision and having this mind space to actually transform and want to transform. And then to be able to, you know, it's a process of learning and making mistakes and, and adapting and changing. And so how do you go through that in the most efficient process? You know, the right way to start the discussion is what is the business outcome we're looking to drive? Are we trying to transform the experience of a client that's going to call in and complain about the card that got stolen and how to replace it? Are we trying to look at how we reduce risk for a claims loss scenario? And so you start with the business outcome and then you rethink back to what drives that and then you start thinking about which digital technologies can actually change how you approach the problem and, and, and solve it differently. Really to get digital transformation right, I think there are two or three things that are, uh, that are great starting points. First one is this notion of design thinking, which is really redefining the problem. Combine that with a bite-sized digital incubation and then combine that with some high velocity engineering, but compress all of that into a sprint. And there's something about human psychology about, about breaking things into short sprints and then being able to realize success at the end of that or not that allows you to kind of put more energy and get more behind it and sort of builds momentum. So one of the things we found is when we went from this kind of long planning cycle into small short sprints, our momentum went up because our people started actually getting it. They started enjoying it, they started feeling it. And that's actually driven a lot more uh, um, momentum for us as a result of that.